Fora TV. The world is thinking. This is the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC. If you take a plane flight to Geneva and look down on a nice day, you might see a mystic scene with the Jura Mountains and a mist and Lake Geneva and Geneva. And then you see something very, very odd. You see a gigantic red circle. <laughs> That's the LHC. Now, of course, I'm joking. You don't really see a giant red circle on the ground. But uh, there is a 27 kilometer long or 18 mile long path that if you followed it underground, you'd see that it was filled with a tunnel. And the tunnel is filled with extraordinarily powerful magnets, the sort of magnets that you might find yourself inside if you're getting a magnetic resonance image at a hospital, but even more powerful. Uh, they're superconducting magnets, so they need to be kept close to absolute zero temperature. Uh, there's a lot of plumbing that goes with that. And this goes on for 18 miles, 27 kilometers. Uh, the magnets are huge, but they have to be also very precise. Uh, the, the tolerances here are microns, small fractions of an inch. This, I believe, is our civilization's answer to the pyramids of Egypt, but much better, because it's not only big, but it's a monument to curiosity as opposed to superstition. It was built by cooperation rather than command. And perhaps most important, it's not just big for the sake of vanity. It's big because it has to be big to do what it, it's uh, meant to do. What's going to happen here is that protons are going to be accelerated to very, very high energy, such that they'll be moving within a part in a million of the limiting velocity, the speed of light. So they're really zipping around. They go around this ring in about a millionth of a second. and a few points, and there'll be two beams of protons going in opposite directions around the ring. At a few points, they'll be brought together, the two beams, and collisions will occur. In those collisions, you'll reproduce conditions that were last seen in the universe when it was about a millionth of a second old very close to the origin of the Big Bang. So we call this making little bangs. And from the tiny but very hot fireballs that uh, are created will emerge sprays of particles that uh, will be moving very fast, uh, different kinds of particles in complicated patterns that encode information about what's going on in the, in the world when you look at it at very, very short distances and with very, very good resolution and time. 